Hi everyone, and welcome back to Mods of the Month. I'm B. Schweikelhausen, and I'm here today collaborating with Paradox Interactive to show off 10 more amazing assets and magnificent maps from October. First up, the Amtrak train station from Rochester, New York by Xerix. I've actually been here in real life, and let me tell you, it looks way better in city skylines. Xerix has done a fantastic job recreating the station in amazing detail, including the skylights on the roof. Next up, from Propaganda, the Rustic River Modular Campsite. This set of 14 Rico compatible lots can be assembled in any way you want to make an amazing campground, perfect for national parks, nature preserves, and rural areas. Each site functions as a household and doesn't need water or power, letting you truly set up camp in the most remote areas. If you're looking to start a new build, It's Jalex has a fantastic new map to give you a nice challenge. Their Avail Valley map is inspired by the California coast and features the perfect backdrop of mountains for your next city. Sticking with the Californian theme, Mac Welshman has created the gorgeous Merchants Exchange building from San Francisco. Once again, it looks far better than the real thing. If only these Skylights creators could work on real life. The Merchants Exchange is Rico compatible, making it perfect to anchor a classic downtown. Moving on, Jorge Puerta has released Wonton House as part of their regular collection, a great set of buildings to add variety to your city. Wonton House is the perfect mid-rise residential building, growing on a 2x2 two two high-density residential lot at level 3. It's spectacular work. We're back to trains for our next unique building, the Pennsylvania Railroad Fruit Auction and Sales Building. This Pittsburgh icon is a perfect fit for industrial areas and can serve beautifully as the heart of a warehouse district or a new warehouse-based hipster district your choice. Alex Gaz is the creator of this next asset, and they've done an incredible job on it as always. The Tour Bonnet is a growable French residential block, but its clean 1970s design means that it will match nearly any city. It's a 3x3 high-density residential growable, and for you ploppers out there, a Rico version is also available. We're back to maps for our next asset, GVET's Konkin V2 The Heaven on Earth. The terrain here is a fantastic starting point for nearly any type of city. The beaches scream tourism while the resources are ripe for mining. If you're a skilled mayor, maybe you could pull off both at the same time. Does your skyline need a little more pizzazz? Look no further than 100 Queen Street, Melbourne by Turbo Cobra. This postmodern tower is originally from Australia, but it's ready to stand proud in your downtown. Thankfully, Turbo Cobra has even flipped it right side up for you. And finally, it's back to trains. Revo and Nostrix have collaborated on a whole fleet of futuristic Amtrak trains, featuring the brand new ALC42 Charger locomotives, which are rolling out in real life right now. Be sure to check this thing out at night, where the Charger's signature see-through engine compartment is on full display. It's fully modeled and looks incredible. And that's a wrap for October's Mods of the Month. Let us know what you think of our picks in the comments below, and if you have a favorite new mod or asset, Make sure you subscribe here for future Mods of the Month videos so you don't miss any other great content here on the City Skylines official channel. I've been B. Schweikelhausen, and I will see you next time. <laughs>